Sofia Vergara and some other stars came together to celebrate the best of the small screen at the 68th Prime Time Emmy Awards and the awards ceremony wasn't short of its own uh, dose of drama, and comedy and even, even reality that we uh, want yeah, from Yeah, it was right? a night of surprises with no one safe from host Jimmy Kimmel's gags and an Aussie actor beating the odds to take out a top prize. were on the red carpet as the stars worked it for the 68th Primetime Emmy Awards. But Jimmy Kimmel was quick to pull attention to the stage as the host kicked off the night with some exceptional gags. I want to do one quick thing before we get started. Just give me one moment if you would. Where is Jeffrey Tambor? <laughs> Jeffrey? There you go. All right. Okay. All right, that saved us 22 minutes. While some of the jokes were unexpected, ladies and gentlemen, four-time Emmy Award winner, Dr. Bill Cosby. He's not, don't worry, he's, he's not really here. I just wanted to see what you guys would do. The winners definitely would not. And the Emmy goes to... Beep. Game of Thrones. Hey! Veep, Game of Thrones, and O.J. Simpson versus the People dominated the night, the latter picking up five trophies. But not everything went to plan. As an actress who's no stranger to making us laugh, eight-time Emmy Award winner Julia Louis-Dreyfus managed to pull at our heartstrings. Um, lastly, I'd like to dedicate this to my father, William Louis-Dreyfus, who passed away on Friday. And I'm so glad that he liked Veep because his opinion was the one that really mattered. Thank you. There were some other surprises on the night, with Mr. Robot star Rami Malek appearing shocked to win the Emmy for Best Actor in a Drama Series. Australia was sort of represented by Ben Mendelsohn, who picked up the award for Outstanding Supporting Actor. Without physically picking it up. Ben couldn't make it. Um, I'm going to accept it on his behalf. Um, and I'll have it at home when you get back, Ben. Thanks. <laughs> Either did Dame Maggie Smith, who was once again MIA at the Emmys, causing Jimmy Kimmel to lose his cool. Maggie Smith, down to Navi. Maggie couldn't be here tonight, so accepting the award on. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm, we're not mailing this to her. Maggie, if you want this, it will be in the lost and found. But the go-to gag of the night was at the expense of presidential candidate Donald Trump. Our show started out as a political satire, but it now feels more like a sobering documentary. <laughs> who is to blame for Donald Trump? Mark Burnett, the man who brought us Celebrity Apprentice. Thanks to Mark Burnett, we don't have to watch reality shows anymore because we're living in one. Thank you, Mark. And while we learned that some of Jimmy Kimmel's jokes fell flat, you can always rely on Matt Damon to do the job right. Can I help you? What do you want? Just calm down, man. I missed the last category. Did you win? No, we didn't win, all right? And, oh, that's a bummer. Oh, hey, Jimmy. Yeah. Uh, tell your mom I, I like them apples. <laughs> Good one, Jason Boring. More like Jason Bird. Yeah, he's good, isn't he? Uh, ongoing fake feud between those yeah, two. Yeah, love like, it, love, love it. How do you like them apples? Uh, as, the, as the 68th uh, Emmy Awards ceremony wrapped up for another year, the annual and infamous after parties began. Entertainment reporter Catherine Eisman joins us live after the, the morning after the night after the night after the night. Catherine, hey. <laughs> The morning after, I like that. Yes, hey guys. <laughs> uh, now, all <laughs> about the parties, of course, after the Emmys. Uh, what's the hot one? What's the number one to attend? 
OK, the number one is definitely the governor's ball. You know, it's a three hour ceremony, so people can't wait to let their hair down and start drinking. And it is the most lavish of all of them. Just to give you a sense of scale, there are over 4,000 people that go there. And it's walking distance across from the Microsoft Theatre, so everyone can get there. You actually have to go if you won, because that's where you get your statue engraved, so you have to go. Um, and the biggest stars are there. There's something like 8,000 champagne flutes, 80,000 roses used to decorate it. 250 chefs, so pretty massive, really fun. We saw uh, Julie Louise Dreyfus, she was bo photobombing Jimmy Kimmel there. We saw Tom Hiddleston there. And I, um, of course, saw Rami Malik, who has just won for, uh, you know, Mr. Robot. He was smiling ear to ear, walking around <laughs> with his trophy. He couldn't believe it. And I had to say, I saw him earlier over the weekend. He is the nicest guy just as geeky and fabulous as you would expect. I love him. I'm so happy to see an underdog actually win the big prize. Yeah, we yeah. heard there was a bit of a, a PDA at the Governor's Ball. Uh, who was getting it on? Whoa. Yeah, there's, yeah, exactly. I know. You like a bit of a PDA there, don't you? Well, the, 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 um, it was Tom Hiddleston. Now, he might have not have won for the night manager, but he definitely didn't lose, uh, leave as a loser. He was having some PDA with uh, Priyanka Chopra. Who can forget that they had that really kind of that amazing moment where he twirled her on stage when they were sharing responsibilities as presenters? They were seen, and a source told me they were lots of kisses on the cheeks, holding hands at one point, and a long embrace. So uh, uh -huh. let's see if there's a new couple. Alert there. Oh yeah, it's on. It's on. Then you went to the HBO party. Was there sort of any uh, OMG PDA at HBO? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I hooked up with Amy Schumer. No, no, she was yeah. there, though. <laughs> I tried. Uh, she was there with her boyfriend and her siblings, just being so irreverent and funny, doing these funny faces and posing. Uh, I did actually overhear with my own ears the fact that she was saying that she couldn't wait to get out of her uh, Vivian Westwood dress, that it was really uncomfortable, that she couldn't wait to oh. kind of get into her sweats. So uh, that was pretty cool. I wonder what uh, Vivian Westwood thinks about that. Our <laughs> host, Jimmy Kimmel, uh, he had his own party. Yeah, he did. I mean, when you can host the Emmys and do such a good job, I'm sure you can host a great after party, and he did just that. It was a much more chilled out, relaxed affair. It started about 10 p.m., went to 3 a.m., which is really late in Hollywood, by Hollywood standards. Um, Kirsten Dunst was there, Rami Malik was there, John Mayer. Of course, he was hanging out with Matt Damon, who was there with his, with his wife. At one point, uh, they were like, singing and rocking out to some rock music, which is pretty cool. And everyone swapped out of their stilettos into flip-flops and ate this kind of comfort food. So that was one of the most fun. There aren't many photos from there because it's not cool to take selfies when you're at such a cool party. That's a little Hollywood uh, insider tip there. Uh, you can only take it at the governor's ball, but when you're at someone's private thing, not so cool. No. All right, Catherine, thank you. Did we just see Jimmy Kimmel like I think with, I was with, about four with a grey beard, and yeah. then he came on looking? Yeah, I, I don't know what that, I don't know what that was. Uh, you you know, they hit rewind a lot in Hollywood. They, they do. Look younger. He popped and up for some Hollywood surgery. Point. Four years younger in yeah, like the flash. space of a. Hey, just quickly, what and do you mean that 3 a.m. is late by Hollywood standards? Don't you guys like oh. to party over there? No, no, there's actually a 2 a.m. curfew that exists for all nightclubs always in uh, L.A. And 3 a.m. is a really late night because a lot of people have filming the next morning. A lot of people are going oh, okay. hiking. A lot of people are going to get hiking. detox the next day. Mm. Oh, my Bo God. Botox people the next day? Very... Did you say oh Botox God. or detox the next day? <laughs> a bit of both, Larry, a bit of both. <laughs> all right, thank all you, right, Catherine. Thanks, Catherine. Lovely to talk to you.